Alright, Isaac, so, we're gonna start off with, um, how I normally do, like, three stock eight minute matches, but something that I've noticed recently that could also help, um, this, this would be, like, a good judge for me to see, like, where you stand, and then if you want, we can switch over to, like, infinite, uh, infinite time and just kind of fight it out if there's a matchup that you're, like, looking to, if you're ever looking to grind a matchup, I find that that's the best way to get acclimated to it because there's no pressure there's no like oh my god you know i have like one stock left like what am i gonna do to hit him it kind of gives you like uh, a more of a freestyle approach to the matchup and then once you become comfortable with with fighting the the other character then you can take that back now into a a restricted two or three stock match or whatever so if you if you like we can do that um that's just something i think i think it's pretty good um, if you're looking just to get more comfortable with matchups. So anytime that you want to grind a matchup with someone, that I, I definitely recommend that. Um, there's there's something to what Mewtwo King does where he, he he puts a computer on 99 stock and he beats it up. Like even if even if it's not necessarily someone good that he's fighting, it's it's like it's the fact that you're hitting this character's hurt box and like dealing with their moves. So, all right. So we'll get started. So you said DK and Sheik were two matchups that you were having trouble with. Yeah, Sheik's being like the main priority because I drop a lot of sets against Sheik. Yeah, I have, I'm fine against like any other character. But okay. Sheik is just completely destroying me. At the moment. All right. So I notice that you're using a lot of uh, jump cancel bomb sliding stuff, which is pretty cool. Yeah. Link has some really really cool bomb tricksies. Ooh. All right, that was a good idea. I feel like if you if you jab one more time, I probably would have been more passive about getting out of that situation. But I guess after jab one, I'm pretty, I'm still able to like kind of react. Right. Yeah, because they nerfed um, when I can react out of jab one. Oh, I see. Like a couple patches back. So yeah, it, it looked it looked a little it looked just a little bit like I had a lot of time to to work with there. So. Yeah, so the, the percentage on, on Link, um, I can look it up for you, but it's generally going to be around like 85-90% is when you don't want to get grabbed. So just try to be careful around those percents. Nice. Ooh, I didn't even see that bomb. Ooh, hit me the wrong way. Oh my... Okay. I tried to land and shield that bomb. Uh, see, the, you're instilling a lot of fear with bombs right now, which is definitely good. Ooh, nice punish. I honestly didn't think that would hit. <laughs> wow, that boomerang totally <laughs> saved you. That was crazy. Is that bomb gonna save you though? <laughs> I was ready for it. I was like, mm, is it gonna blow up? Yeah, it's gonna blow up right now. But that's exactly what you want to do. Always have a bomb in your hand when you're recovering because it's gonna help you. Uh, not not many people are gonna be in a situation where they'll be able to spike you after the bomb hits. But I guess you could probably, if you wait a little bit longer there and you know the bomb's gonna explode, you can keep yourself a little bit safer, stay away from them, and uh, up be a little bit deeper, knowing that the bomb's gonna save you, or maybe a little bit more horizontally. But that was just unfortunate. You happen to be right next to me there. Yeah, but I feel like if I went like a little bit more, it would have still killed me. Yeah, the the down yeah. air is a huge, huge hitbox. So particularly in this matchup, um, you probably want to try to aim to get your up B to start hitting me a little bit, because once it starts hitting DK when I'm off stage, like I can't get out of it. Oh my god! Yeah, yeah, you are. I have almost max rage. I think I I grabbed you at like what was it, sixty? I pummeled yeah, you to 60. sixty. Okay, let's look at the percents for Link. That's important. Um, let me do that for you. Research. 
Do, 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 do. Okay, so the percents on Link. Let's see, let's see. Link. Um, okay, wow. It's actually a lot earlier than I thought, which would make the 60% make a lot, a lot more sense. Uh, the list that I have here that says for no rage, it's 79 through 91. Oh, so 90 wow. is actually the end of it. Um, I, I guess... Uh, I know Link is heavy, but I guess maybe it's because he's floaty also. Uh, the, the, those are the two main factors that really that come into play. It's You could be like, if you're heavy and a fast faller, um, generally it's the easiest to hit Ding Dong on you. Now, since Link is a fast faller, it's very easy to hit it on him. But, I mean, the window is not as large as it is, as it is for other characters. And that's going to be because he's a little bit more like... I don't know, honestly. It's different for every character, but 79 through 91 is uh, is the percents you want to look out for versus DK when he has no rage. No rage percents, so, which means when I do have rage, uh, it can go any it can go down about 15, 20 percent from there, uh, depending on like each increment of rage gen generally will lower it by about like uh, five percent or so. Increment of rage being like 50, 100, 150. Alright, so now you're in danger. Definitely don't want to get grabbed here. Oh, my pivot grab missed. <laughs> if like you had pivoted the first grab, it definitely would have been missed. Yeah. I actually had meant to pivot it, but now now you're you're doing the smart thing, which is to chill on the platforms. You chill on the platforms, try to rack up damage, because if you can get my rage to be too high, then um, I won't be able to dig down you anymore. Um, either that, or try to bait me into hitting you at least once or twice, because that'll get you out of the window completely. Also, but if I play it smart, I'll just sit patient, try to power shield projectiles, try to find a way to grab you. Oh, wow. In this matchup, that's actually smart. You can bomb yourself out of the percentage if you know what the percentage is. Uh, again, we said it was 79 to 91. So once you get past that percent, uh, you're no longer in fear of Ding Dong. So you might as well just bomb yourself right now. And then once you get beyond 91%, I shouldn't be able to Ding Dong you anymore. That's, oh, so right now I'm just completely safe from Ding Dong. Yeah, like, uh, I might have to grounded cargo up throw you and go for, like, the 50-50 the mix-up, but that's the best that I can do. I can't get a guaranteed one on you anymore. Oh, okay. Right. Maybe, maybe the percentage is wrong. So let's, let's, uh, no, you were still in hits on there, so uh, the percentage might be slightly off, which is why, and again, I haven't linked the lab matchup, uh, link to the lab, labbed the link matchup myself yet. <laughs> So that I might that might be something that I want to do. So we know that 94 still works. So shout outs to that list that is not mine, where the percents are incorrect. I'll check another list after that and see what it says. Nice. Uh, it's not Wow, I couldn't jump. Oh, I think that's like a 50-50 there. I think yeah, I probably have to air dodge, yeah. Yeah, you sense. have to air dodge. If you jump, it's just gonna catch your jump. Nice. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh no. Wow. Uh, yeah. Okay, I thought you might have made that. Oh no. Turn around by accident. Oh, I have your bomb. I don't want that. <laughs> nice. Liking the bomb confirms. Looking like Looking like Toon Link out there. I didn't even know that Link had had like really confirmed stuff out of bombs. Bomb fair is nice. Yeah, and it kills at a decent percent on a lot of characters. 
Nice. Good dodge. How that up B caught you over there. Um, yeah, that's really dangerous because, like, you're getting me to these high rage percents very consistently. It just comes down to, like, you don't even have to have very much percent and I can get a grab on you and, and catch you. So let me just check one more chart to see if we have some more accurate percents for Link. Because I was still very a easily able to get you at 94, and I, and I had a little bit of rage, too. So the window must be larger. And that would make sense because Link is a fast faller. So let's see what I can find. Um, in which case, I may have to lab these percents on my own. Here we go. 80 to 104. That sounds like it makes oh. way more sense. There we go. Yeah, that sounds more. <laughs> so let's let's go with that. Shout outs to Big O. Those are the uh, Smash Boards percents. Um, all right. So in that case, you, you'll have to get beyond 104, which is kind of... Not bad, because like, say you're at like 100, you might as well throw a bomb or two at yourself, because you're probably not going to die from like something as basic as like a back air anyway, so just adding on another 5-10% will be crucial in helping you just stay, or stay out of the, the guaranteed kill confirm out of the grab. Now it's not easy actually for me to grab you, you're making it difficult for me to grab you, which is good. Um, I have to rely on catching like a defensive habit or something. If I just run at you, uh, chances are you have a bomb in your hand, which is going to make it annoying. Or if you have a boomerang flying backwards, uh, that you, you've seen that actually help you as well to avoid the getting car mode, so that's good. Yeah, and the only reason that I'm kind of afraid at bombing myself is because you can convert off of it. Like, I'm in a decent amount of hits zone. Right. Especially in which case... You, you wouldn't want to bomb yourself unless if I'm like nowhere near you like you'll, you'll hit me away or something something like that first in which case I guess if you're hitting me away you can just keep applying pressure and try to get me out of rage percent so that's probably your safest bet but if you see that you just can't avoid the situation and you're like maybe one bomb hit away on yourself then maybe you can like trade a bomb on both of us like however you want to do it but now you're in danger because I have a little bit of rage, and you're very slightly under the minimum, which means if I get a grab, that's it. Wow, did you did you try to Z-drop the bomb there? Or did no, it just fall just out of your- oh, oh, he just drops just it sometimes? Fall. Okay. <laughs> that's kind of silly. Wow, that was sick. Something I've noticed is that out of Link's grab, he has very, like, deceptively low cooldown. I've seen a lot of Link's spot dodge after after grabbing. I always thought I had way more cooldown than that. No, I think... Oh, they didn't make it, but... Um, yeah, the Zare didn't I think they grab it. reduced the cooldown again a couple patches ago. Like when Roy came out. Right. So. Yeah, one of those patches. I do remember that, actually. I know they increased the range at one point, and then I guess lowered the cooldown as well. Yeah. Oh my goodness. That boomerang is taking me for a ride. Nice. I, for some reason, didn't remem remember to block the second hit. That bomb saved your life. Okay, so that time it just, again, you, you're able to consistently get me to 150%. It just comes down to kill confirm stuff. So, um, one, in terms of racking up damage, the bombs are helping you. But I guess in terms of when I get in your face, I feel like we need to... Hmm, like, your grab game is very good. Uh, but what I want is for you to be able to hit me with those up smashes when it's gonna take my stock like it's all it's a good damage rack, racking um tool but uh, I, and I don't know how uh how reliable it is but i know that you get some jab jab stuff and that that could be useful 
if you space the jabs, like, you know, linking, like, jabs into tilts or jabs into smashes when I'm at higher percents, I, I won't be able to up B combo break out of those at high percents. At low percents, I probably will. Like, the jab-jab cancel stuff. But when I'm at high percents, there there's two reasons that I want you to go for, like, jab confirms. One is that if you space your jab really well, then, um... That's gonna that's gonna be good in terms of playing anti grab, and it's also going to help you get the kill. So that's something that I think we should probably try to implement. Um, and again, I'm sure you know the cancels better than I do. I I know there's like jab jab, yeah. like up tilt. There's jab jab down smash. Depending on my positioning and my di on your jabs, you can get different follow ups. I know you can get up smash as well. Up smash will probably just kill at that point. Like, even without any jabs, if you get any sort of read. Um, yeah, definitely. I don't know about up throw. Up throw probably um, won't kill throw... DK for a while. Yeah, probably like not till 160, 170. Yeah, just because he's heavy. <clears throat> nice. Ooh, that was sick. Yeah, so that's an example of what DK can do at low percent to get out of combos. But if you read it, or if you're patient and you follow it, you can, uh, you can definitely punish it. I keep thinking my bounce is gonna go right through that super armor. Oh! oh. <laughs> That's Both of those back air soft hit you. So, you got out of that I was ready to somehow. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, I didn't have to. Nice. It's there way too late. Yeah. So, yeah, that's the 50-50 there. I'm not sure. Maybe you, you tried to jump out. If you try to jump out, you'll get caught. But you can air dodge that to. if you think. If you think I'll go for the up air right away, you should be able to air dodge it. But sometimes you can't be just because fast fallers get caught harder than other characters. Nice. That was a really good uh, Zedge mix-up. Wow, did not expect you to go back to the edge. I was like, clearly he'll go to the platform, and I was trying to cover that, yeah. so I was good. That's what I was avoiding, trying to go back to the platform, because I feel like that'd be the obvious option. Okay, I see yeah, what you so mean now stun. by the bombs being in hit stun, yeah, because like, stun. that positioning was really bad, because your option was like, dare or nair, and I was like, in prime position for an up air. Yeah, see how that put me in like a weird position? I had to like, I had to SDI those, which which put me in a position above you. If I didn't SDI them, you probably could have got a follow up. Um, but because I did SDI them, it put me like directly above you, which now gives you the opportunity to try to snipe my landing and hit me with up smash, or uh, maybe scout a double jump and hit me with an up air or something. So the jabs can definitely help you set something up and are also good at avoiding uh, grabs while not sticking to a defensive uh, option. You can use it just as a pressure tool. Nice. Yeah, jabs are really good in this matchup. I don't utilize jab as much as I should. Yeah, the, it's, it's mostly just the range on it. If you space it well, it's very safe. Uh, just make sure you don't do it up close because a lot of people will easily read uh, jab mix-ups. Wow, I'm surprised it didn't kill. Yeah, I thought it was good. Like, the only thing I have to do to block your jab mix-up on shield is like, is he gonna jab once, twice, or three times? And then I, as soon as I see you stop, then I'll try to punish. Nice. Okay, I did not know that was a thing. <laughs> he has a lot of stuff out of bone. Just not enough points to go off there and show him off. Ooh. There you go. Alright, so you're out of kill percent now. Um, so my goal is to just kill you. Because the ding dong is not going to work anymore. I should just grab him.
Yeah, low percents, I'm gonna DI and probably try to jump out of that every time. But again, if you know that, you can use that to your advantage. You can jab, jab, and if you see they don't get out of it, then you can get the grab if you see they're still blocking. Otherwise, um, you can jab, jab, and if, if you get into the air, if you, if you get them into the air, now that's something else beneficial for you. Because if I did that, that means that I used my double jump, and now you can rack, tack on some free damage with bombs, boomerangs, before I hit the ground again, so, um, yeah, so we're, we're seeing that there's definitely some application for jab, whether it's a confirm or it's just good for positioning, um, even if you just want damage, jab, jab, jab is not bad, it's, it's totally safe once you, once you start confirming the initial jabs, so I would say jab cancels, probably better for mid-high percent, or if you're trying to condition and get get them to shield and go for grabs otherwise at low percent it looks like I'm able to DI out of the jabs uh, only when I'm falling down on you in the air for the most part because I know there's the, the multi hitting like jabs the way it works is that if you're grounded and they're hitting it's better if if I'm falling into your jabs from up top it's gonna be a lot easier for me to SDI out from from what I've seen for the most part <clears throat> and the jab jab stuff usually is just a simple mix up. I literally just have to react on like what you do at low right. percent. Like whether you're gonna jump or just simply um, do something else. Yeah, definitely try to react in those situations. That way you can uh, take advantage. But I could definitely see why people say that this is probably not an amazing matchup for DK just because it's not necessarily easy to grab link but it only really takes like one power shield one run-up shield on like a read on one of your projectiles and then that could be your stock so it's still not not easy for link plus i have the edge guard game so i could see i could see it from both sides but I, i'm generally very experienced in this matchup i tried so hard to attack that was that was so worth it <laughs> Use your jump. Um, like you yeah, I may have. Ooh, have your bomb, I don't want this. Also, uh, shout outs to uh, Bug Catcher, actually. Let, let me let me uh, clear this up for you. I actually walked over to Exodia and uh, and DK Bill was about to sit down and play them in friendlies because I didn't know who my next opponent in losers bracket was. And DK Bill goes, he's like, "Oh, I, I don't think you know what's hap what's going on right now. Uh, you're playing Exodia next." And he was sitting there grinding versus Exodia with DK for like an hour. And I was willing to sit down and play friendlies with them regardless afterwards. So then, when I was losing like 2-0 or 2-1 to Exodia. I turned around to my friends and I asked them, I'm like, I don't know if I should stay DK. I'm thinking I might try like switching to cloud or something. And then and then I turned and then like they just gave me like a pep talk and then I was like, you know what, I'll stay DK. There's no coaching involved when it comes to me playing DK. No nobody nobody can tell me things that I don't already know with the character. So but but nice try. Also that's a 7-3 matchup, so anyway, just wanted to point that out. It's actually not that bad anymore, I think, since the nerf. Nice. Okay, so I saw you went for the jab mix up there, but I was able to react on your shield uh, while, while I was shielding from jab 1-2. So it guess, I guess it's not entirely safe to pace depending on like your spacing up close. Yeah. But again, I think if you space the jabs back just a little bit more, it'll be a lot harder for me to punish. Because it does have decent range. Oops. That will definitely kill me. I like that option, the pivot F tilt. Alright, so now you should be in kill percent range. So, the one thing that you're going to want to watch out for now is the walk-up 
uh, shield. Or the run up power shield or, or so it's gonna be it's it's crazy because like it's really risky for you to go for grab, but if you have a hard read in the situation knowing that I'm gonna run up shield, then it does it can become a good option. Oh my god, that bomb saved you so hard. <laughs> but I like the way you're playing right now. Let's see if I can catch you. Nope. Oh, I thought you had like a dare setup or something crazy right there. No. Could that have worked? It's fun, like, uh, um, I guess you wouldn't. It wouldn't have been fast enough, probably. Yeah. What if like barely missed it? If I had like a little more time to make. Yeah, that'll do. Yeah, you're gonna just gonna attack. Yeah, grab. <laughs> I mean, it's just so risky for Link, unfortunately. Yeah. All right. Well, I mean, you're you're definitely you're definitely showing some stuff that you have with these bomb confirms. And uh, your offstage game, as much as the edge guarding is difficult for Link, um, uh, you're you're utilizing the the Zare pretty well. And I get I guess neutral air, neutral air that one time uh, it outranged my up B from what from what it looked like. Sometimes I'll try to smack you with up B. Yeah, um, I know you're gonna do it that time, so I'll just do it anyway. Yeah. But it's just I don't really know how to like edge guard DK in a way, so I don't really go off stage that much. I guess when like I guess I have the opportunity. I just kinda wait and see what you do. Right. How to get it. That was close. <laughs> Good. Nice. Looks like back air out of shield is a really good option if you think I'm gonna shield grab if your back is turned. Um Oh, wow, that was the weakest thing ever. <laughs> yep, I have too much rage. Can't combo you. Alright, I learned how to get out of that 50-50, so maybe next time you'll have to try to either guess right or wait. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> wow, it was close. Yeah, that's just jab one on shield too, and I was able to just grab you. So that's so much cooldown. So now this is a percentage here where you are in the advantage, even though you're at like uh, two stock zero, you're down a stock. I'm at I'm at like a confirmed percent away from dying. So see if you can try to get me before I get some extra credit, but nope, DK gets one grab, he's gonna get a lot. Oh, went the wrong way. I keep trying to go for grabs, so it's gonna be all this percent. Yeah, grabs are gonna be, I guess, just a little bit, they're just not fast enough frame data wise. Like I see that you're shielding, but like when I go for the grab, it's just too late. Yeah, Already grabbing me. In which case, I think maybe, maybe you wanna see if I'm gonna approach first before going for the, the grab, and then in which case pivot grab can help you, like the pivot grab option. Because if I'm already like in your face with the shield, by then it's too late. If you create some space, maybe. I don't know how much cooldown, maybe your, your pivot grab probably has more cooldown than a regular grab, but definitely experiment with that. Um, the, the the space back forward tilt's also really good in terms of just keeping me out of your face. Yeah, P pivot forward tilt seems like it would work um, if I'm approaching you 
with shield and I'm expecting to grab you. Because that it creates space at the last moment and then I'll, um even if you even if I would I would have to read it basically and overshoot you uh, in order to, to grab your pivot forward tilt. But generally I'm not gonna do that because I see where you are. And then I'm gonna try to shield and get to your right where your position is. Nice footstool. Alright, so far you're doing pretty good at avoiding the grab, man. That's like all I'm going for, but this is probably what some DKs will do. They'll be like, oh, you're in grab percent? Well, I'm gonna fiend and not do any do, do anything else. Uh, it might stop working pretty soon. Yeah, and I haven't been able to follow your DI for the past couple of times, but okay. <laughs> yeah, for the most part, I think you're doing really well at avoiding the grab. Really, really good. Um, Wonder Bread, it, it's it's that, but he he was, it's not it's not just that. It's he's mixing up the DI. Also, it's Wi-Fi, so it's hard. But yeah, when I cargo up throw you, it's it's important to mix up which side that you're going on. If you see I'm having trouble hitting you on one side, stick to that side. If I adjust, like you know, maybe switch it up, go to another side. But um, yeah, no, I think you're. You're doing you're doing well at avoiding the grab so far from what I've seen in that matchup. Let me let me swap off to Sheik for a little bit, and maybe I can rotate back to DK afterwards. But um, so we found that using pivot F tilt can help in avoiding run up shield grab situations. Also, just keep keep the mix ups coming. Like you you didn't really do much of the same thing twice, which made it hard for me to, to get the timing on blocking things correctly. I'm like, all right, is he gonna nair? Is he gonna back air? Is he gonna zare? Bomb throw? As long as you keep mixing it all all up, it's gonna be um, hard for me to to get like a predictable shield grab situation. So Sheik is probably going to stay either in this like kind of like mid-range zone, which is kind of like what Link likes because you still get to throw your projectiles out and pressure. Um, so you just have to be aware of the needles when you're in that range. Wow. And then other than that, when I'm not in that range, I'm going to be right in your face, comboing you as hard as I can uh, with Sheik's amazing frame data moves. Well, that's the main problem I have. I just get comboed. I don't know what to do when I get rushed down by Sheik a lot, so I, like, just eat 100%, maybe even my stock. Nice recovery. Wow, that boomerang almost killed me, but luckily <laughs> I made it back somehow. Oh, the fast fall. <laughs> yeah. Thank you for the host, uh, Strife Spikes. I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you. Nice. Oh, wow. I didn't think that would blow up on me. Wow, see like, that's crazy. I didn't think that you could spot that, so you could use that as a bait, honestly. It's risky, but 
Uh, don't use it too much, but definitely if you want to bait someone to come in at you, just make it look like, oh, like, judge how much space is between you, throw the grab out, and be like, hey, if you try to run in, I'm, you're probably going to get punished. Whether you spot dodge afterwards, dodging a grab or a dash attack, um, or even just throw out a, press a button really quick afterwards. Yeah. Unfortunately, Sheik's forward air is still just transcendent enough to string you like that. Oh no, that was really good. Oh no, the random fast fall. <laughs> so probably what I'll stick to now is when I see when, when you whiff a grab, I'll probably just punish you with needles. But if you can force somebody to like, uh, to think that they can get a hard punish off the, off the grab, the whiff grab, then that's good. They'll have to learn the hard way that needles is the best punish. Or just well timed, well spaced dash attack or dash crab. Yeah. You still have, did you still have your jump there too? Yeah, I tried to jump air dodge, but that's not. Oh, okay. Yeah, so what I'm noticing is that, um, I'm, as Sheik, I want to try to intercept, intercept you with, uh, a fair during your up B, before your jump comes out off stage. so yeah, in those situations, you want to make sure that you have a bomb in your hand if you can, otherwise, um, what you can do is if you see that Sheik is lining up for a fair, you can probably, like, it's so risky, because when, when you're that low, you really can't resort to much. You have like, like you said, jump air dodge or jump nair or something if you if you don't have a bomb. But if you do have a bomb, I feel like it might even be like kind of limiting in that sense. Unless if you... Okay, so what if you had a bomb in your hand already and then you're looking to avoid getting fared. So you just jump uppy if you see a sheet goes um... deep at you off stage. Because then the uppy will hit. You'll start SDing, but then the bomb will save you afterwards. So that's like another mix-up that you'll probably have to keep in mind versus Sheik, just because your up B outranges her fair. It's risky as hell, but like if you know that the, you're not gonna drop drop the bomb, then it might be worth. Uh, that's just something else. Like you have to use all your tools as Link versus a character as good off stage as Sheik is. Wow, that's really unfortunate. Nice, good grab. This is like the main problem, honey. just taking all this percent. I haven't really gotten my footing down yet. Right, because I've, I've been trying to just pressure you. And when I get up close, I'm doing like jab jab stuff. Nice. Oh, I thought I could get you like the last second. Oh, oh no. I didn't 
Well, you were bring you were bringing that back a lot. Like, even though I was only at 68, you being in that percent rage was pretty scary for me because I know I probably would have died from something stupid like forward smash or dash attack yeah. at that percent. Both, both of those definitely would have killed. <laughs> yep. So that's what you want to do in this matchup is try to. Like, even if you do take all that damage and you know it's all free and you can't avoid it, just get your really, really good, hard uh, recovery mix-ups going so you don't get edge guarded. And then if you can at least make it back, you can use that rage to, like, kind of try to end cheat. Nice. Oh, I got lucky. Oh, I wanted the wind to blow us, like, towards the stage. Oh, is that gonna be it? I wasn't sure. I didn't I didn't think you had a forward or a back throw kill, so I was like, wait, no. Probably not. No, back throws, too. We have to be, like, on the very, very edge. Oops. Oh, wow. That last hit is so good. Yeah, you probably could have hard punished me for that. Yeah, if I ever needle up close to you on your shield, um, she has a decent amount of cooldown on it. So, whatever your fastest smash attack was, is, is down smash pretty fast in front? Yeah, down smash is really fast. Up front. Either yeah, uh, Sheik is one That's of the other good. characters that can probably cover that option so quickly. But I mean, landing on the platform was smart. Um, but unfortunately, bouncing fish catches you. Now, something that I've noticed that y you were doing well with um, certain times, but I've been I've been trying to mix up the the pressure. Well, like when I hit your shield, that's gonna be something that's that's hard to deal with. Probably as Link, because I don't know what your be your fastest or your best out of shield options are. But when I catch you in like those situations where I'm like jab, 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 down, like forward tilt, down tilt on your shield. If um if Sheik ever down tilts on your shield, just know that that's very minus on block. So you can always punish that. Most likely with a shield grab. Well, maybe not shield grab because she's crouching. But whatever your fastest shield drop tilt is. So whether it's down tilt, forward tilt, whatever you want to do to hit Sheik while she's crouching. Actually, I'm just, I'm kind of curious. I want to see, can you, can you, uh, can you grab Sheik while she's crouching with Tether? I, let's find I out. I actually don't know. Let's find <laughs> out. It's important to know because that'll be really devastating for you if that's the case. But I feel like the Tether might grab. Let's find out. Okay, good. Oh. And then let, let's try a spaced grab, like maybe back a little bit. Okay, good. So yeah, that's that's amazing. That's better than a lot of characters. Um, and I guess it's because at the end of the tether, it like opens up the uh, the hook shot. Well, that's good. Yeah, that's very good to know. So in that case, you can always punish a down tilt on shield. Uh, I'm not sure how fast your grab is though. You might have faster options at shield, but that should still work if you're looking for a punish. Nice. That in general is a good option if you ever think I'm going to fall down and forward air you. Is that 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 pivot F tilt? Just because it, it outspaces me. Ah! 
Nice. Yeah, yeah. Good, good punish on the regrab. I got a little greedy there, trying to hit you. Yeah. That's something that I'll probably. I guess I should try to go for that more often because it seems pretty hard for you to deal with. Not want that bomb. We got another host from Akarain. Thank you for the host. I appreciate that. We're here with the Smash 4 lesson right now. We're working on the Sheik versus Link matchup, which again probably used to be a lot worse for Sheik, uh, a, lot, a lot worse for Link. But since the the patch is on Sheik, it might be a little bit more doable. However, Sheik still has like way better frame data. And the ability to just kind of... Oh, I didn't have a chance. Oh, no. And the bomb never blew up either. Yeah. Oops. Well, that boomerang very disoriented me. Doesn't try to up me like. Oh, quickly, okay. Quickly. I actually didn't think about that. I guess because the platform was there. Yeah. Had yeah, you air dodge like that though? Had you air dodge that? I actually, I, I might. I wonder if I would have lost that stock. Probably not. She can probably still drift back and up B and snap edge, which is yeah. silly. So you always have to be aware of of bouncing fish. Um, things that are gonna combo it to into it the best are falling fair bouncing fish, weak nair bouncing fish, uh, weak back air bouncing fish. Even strong back air bouncing fish will work at like medium percents if you don't DI the back air far enough away from cheek. So, yeah. as long as you know the the startup moves that can combo into it, then then generally avoiding the raw ones is not so bad because you've seen it enough. So. <clears throat> I think I'm just gonna get used to noticing a lot of her moves and what I can do. Yeah. To avoid them. Definitely, the more you fight her, the more, uh, the less hopeless it'll feel. Like she, she'll still get all her guaranteed stuff because of how fast she is, but, but um, she does die fairly, fairly quickly if you can, if you can land those few moves that can do it. Go away by them. Wow, you have to get some pretty good decent drift on that though. Yeah, if you could, as long as you avoid that uh, explosion when I'm following you like that, then you should be able to get back. If you take the explosion, then I'll probably be able to, to finish off the edge card. Nice. I think I just have to save my jump more, not just waste it to be. Right. That yeah, seems to be working out a lot. Nice. Ooh, that caught me. Yeah, that'll. It looks like it'll catch any of my just like jump aerial options if I'm close to you, just because I don't have very much range, and it's also very powerful. Oh, it. Ooh, I tried to ferry you there, that was good space. Nice. 
Nice, that quick recovery avoided actually my 45 degree angle needle that I tried to throw at you. So getting on this stage quickly when you can with the jump Zara is really, really smart. I tried to ledge jump, but too late. I think that might have cost me. Nope, no. you're good. You got back somehow. Oh, wow, the bomb traded, but the tipper still hit you. Fuel Tension is hosting with 33 viewers. Yo, what up, Tension? Thank you, dude. I appreciate it, man. Yeah, tension was streaming like all night. Wow. Up to now. That's awesome, dude. I, I, I have, I have to catch one of your streams, dude. Did you wait? Did you play at Xanadu and then come home and stream? Because if you did that, you're insane. <laughs> That might have been really good. Nice. Yeah, if I overcommit with a jump and you have a bomb in your hand, you still have your jump, and that's really smart to throw it down. Even if it doesn't hit me, it's really good pressure. Okay. That may have worked out for you. I hadn't done that yet, so I was wondering if it would work. Nice. Good option. Ah, oh, that's probably it. Uh, save my... Maybe... No. Ah, oh, almost got the drift. If you had a bomb there, that would have been a very interesting situation. Yeah. Uh, yeah, dude, if you've been streaming all night and haven't slept, definitely definitely get some rest, man. But thank you. I appreciate the host. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> That's crazy. Alright, so I mean, uh, stages... I, I wonder if this, this stage is actually helping you out a little bit. Because I feel like uh, you'll probably survive a little bit longer from raw attacks as Link. Also, the, the positioning of the platforms might also help you clip me with like bombs and boomerangs here and there, but yeah. it really doesn't help your offstage game too much. If anything, it just keeps you from dying like off the sides, but I think the, the definitely the, the stage format seems to be helping you in terms of like landing up smashes and stuff, because you can catch me uh, falling down from platforms pretty predictably. Yeah, it's much easier to land it. Nice. Yeah, so it becomes a struggle for you if you try to stay, like, in one spot when I'm pressing all those buttons on your shield. So sometimes it's best... If you, if you see that you don't have an opening, just to kind of try to get it out of there. Yeah, I tried to do up the OS, but it still caught me, even then. Which surprised me a little bit, but then again, it's cheap. Wow. Nice. Did you throw a boomerang that deep? 
<laughs> I'm actually dead because I did an accidental B reverse needles, which I probably couldn't do again if I tried. B reverse needles off stage. That was pretty cool. Okay, that was the most extended <laughs> offstage situation ever, but you did make it back. Ooh, nice. Is that it? <laughs> um, when we get caught in a situation like that, and when I'm on the edge, and uh, some sheiks will generally they'll they'll try to find opportunities to, to punish you with bouncing fish, at, specifically at high percents. So if you can see that coming and like kind of bait it out and like walk away from it, you can get a super hard punish on it. Probably like forward smash punish, honestly, if you have a good enough read. Am I dead? Yeah. Wow, the arrow actually the killed me. No way! Oh, I got my jump back somehow. I thought that was it, to be honest. Yeah. That was very close, though. That was really good. Um, something that I noticed that she can do in this matchup that's really annoying is that if you have a bomb, and I just power shielded whatever you did or I'm holding shield if you ever throw the bomb I can react with Nair out of shield and it just grabs it and also possibly hits you and then I can pressure you with the bomb afterwards so that's another struggle with this matchup um, you might want to try to bait out her Nair sometimes because that's gonna be an option that she's definitely gonna throw out um, if she knows about it like obviously pressing a catches catches items so um, that's just something that I found out when I'm up close. I can react with just like jump out of shield Nair, and that will probably beat your grab also. The only thing you'll yeah, be able to do is block anything. that. Yeah, it'll beat anything I do. Yeah. So that's something that you're going to want to try to bait out versus Sheik. I tried. Oh my goodness, oh. I SD'd because I didn't hug the stage. Nice.
I don't even know what that boomerang is doing <laughs> right now. It's putting me in all sorts of crazy <laughs> positions. Putting this funny movie at the same time. Alright, it worked out. <laughs> I feel like if you if you somehow had a bomb there, you would have been fine, because I wouldn't have been able to cover it. Because I totally missed you. There you go. That actually covered- I, I grabbed the bomb with my Nair, and you zared me out of it, so... I don't know if that's a thing, or if that's something you can do, because your Zare is definitely safe. If you see that situation, just back off with the Zare, or come in with it, if I, if I neutral air. The Zare will beat it. And sometimes I don't always grab the bomb, it blows up. So, but I guess that's just my fault, mistiming it slightly. That was dumb. Situation like that where I purposely use my bouncing fish, um, if you can catch on to that. Oh wow. Weak back your game. If you can catch on to uh, a Sheik wasting her bouncing fish and then she doesn't have a jump left, just up smash her landing. Like, there, there's not much that she can do at that point. Yeah, even if you just do it when you know she's going to aerially approach you, and you know that she's at a percent that she's going to die from it, that's really good. Oh no, I wanted to hit you, not cancel. I'm honestly pleasantly surprised about how smooth I'm able to play Sheik uh, on this connection, by the way. I haven't I haven't noticed that. I haven't complained about that at all. So that's yeah. cool. It's a really good connection. That was kind of disorienting. I, the, the grenade wasn't a wasn't on purpose, but it, it kind of cloaked my my drop off back air afterwards. Um, no, but I I definitely think you're figuring out some things. Uh, the more we play this matchup, uh, the the easier it's going to be for you to find the openings. I, I one percent. I don't know if it was di dependent, but you hit me with back air, and then you followed me with jump boomerang, and it felt like a combo. But. It, it um, could be because of the way that, like, my percent, maybe the way I di the back air. It was probably percent because back air has different knockbacks on different percents. And that's why some things work with back air and some things don't. Hmm. Mm. Okay. I got certain. Two, so but it's I, weird. I definitely like this stage pick for, for Link versus Sheik. <laughs> So these are all the things that you have to block before you can get away. So that was good. You, you you had good patience there. As long as you know I'm not going for a grab, just block um, and try to just catch my grab mix up and get out of there. And then if I start getting impatient, that's when I start taking damage. But I'm not going to be impatient. I'm going to sit back, throw needles, because that's what I'm supposed to do here. Nice. 
Good patience. Grab. Nice. That falling there was super good. I was about to hit you. Oh, try to power shield. Nice. Oh, wow. That range caught me. Oh, the upbeat didn't go off, but you still died. No. Does hitting someone with your upbeat, like, stifle your recovery a little bit? Just, like, this tiniest of bit. Yeah, that was like just enough tiniest. to cut your momentum, though. Yeah. Oh no, wrong button. Damn it. <laughs> nice. Oh my goodness, the tech. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> wow, I didn't even know what was happening because the bomb exploded. It like kind of confused the whole situation. Nice. Oh, that was smart. Yeah, that's it. Oh, I tried. <laughs> Good game, though. That was so yeah, that was crazy. <laughs> like, bombs. the tech, like... and then you had the bomb, and you were holding on to the edge, and I guess I grabbed the edge, and you got up, and then it stage spiked me, or something. I'm not even sure. That, that was awesome, though. Yeah, if you could do that every time... When you're uh, <laughs> when you're recovering, then I think you'll do okay versus Sheik. But um, no, this is cool. This is cool. I think you're you're definitely uh, implementing some stuff versus Sheik. It really just comes down to can you somehow force Sheik to not be patient, uh, which is hard. But it it you can make her really frustrated if you start to hit her with like too many bombs. <clears throat> yeah. It gets in a lot of people's Three, heads. Two, yeah. one, go. Especially if you keep moving around like all smooth like, and then I'm just like, really you're just gonna keep sitting there throwing bombs? And then that'll probably make me wanna like approach you more. But generally I'll, I'll try to get the few hits that I can at low percent with grabs and forward air into stuff. And then I'll just shoot needles. So that's what Neek that's what Sheik should probably do in this matchup. That's also what she's supposed to do in the Toon Link matchup. Is just be really, really good at uh, blocking projectiles and uh, intercepting with needles. Oh wow, that still combos at that percent. Nice. I'm still surprised how much they increased the tether's range. Because that was really far away. And it still reached. Yeah. That'll hit me. Oh wow. Nice. Oh no, it was like safe and then I ran into the second hit. <laughs> Wow, you tech the weak hit. That's not easy to do. He's getting these texts. Yeah, you're getting, getting them high. like every time. <laughs> All right, so now you've got me feeling like I need to approach. So this is where you're in the advantage. 
as most characters are that can throw projectiles when you're in the lead. So let me see if I can play this smart. I don't want to try to take more damage here, so I'm going to try to just evade everything, shoot needles. I guess that worked. <laughs> that was not smart. I wanted to be able to shield afterwards. Nice. Alright, so bear. <laughs> bear bear is a is a good move to catch uh, Link's weight at mid percents. Nice. Nice, so smart. Bob helped you. Yeah, down tilt can sometimes combo into the up air. Uh, Anti made a tweet about that recently, actually. He said that everyone's playing Sheik wrong lately. You're supposed to be comboing uh, the percents where her forward tilt combos into up air for kills and down tilt combos into up air for kills, which I guess that was the percent that I just hit you at. But it was like 110 when I was at 110, so it's like, I don't know how guaranteed that is. Yep, got me. Oh yeah, to keep in mind, uh, at low percents, yeah, since Sheik is a fast faller, you'll have to, um, you'll have to up tilt once and then, like, get out of there, yeah, or block. Back off. Yeah. Cause I can hold down and shield. Wow, I can, like, wave bounce needles on this connection, that's amazing. I should probably start using that. Probably update my Sheik a little bit while, while we're on this connection. Oh, nice. That's really good. Oh, I was hoping you would do that too. <laughs> oh, wow. That's that comboed. Still wasn't gonna make it. Yeah. <clears throat> I don't know if I had. If I would have made it if I pulled the bomb, but. Possibly, but it may, it may have given me a chance to to maybe try to edge guard you a little bit there. But yes. Okay. Now I kind of I kind of want to play a few more of these. Like I know it's probably been a little over an hour, but I think this is really good practice. And the more you play, uh, it's it's rare that you're going to be able to to tech my soft back airs on Wi-Fi with with Link consistently, and then somehow get a bomb stage by kill. That was that was dope. <laughs> Alright, so we can probably play a few more, and then uh, afterwards I'll probably do, um, I'll probably do a sub list. Maybe I'll go Sheik today. No, I won't do that unless, unless the connection's good. <laughs> it's just so, it's so sad if it's not. Nice. Did you have my bomb during that? Yeah. I, I, uh, I Z, -ca I Z caught it. And then ran up to you, and then it just exploded while uh, while I was in my shield. So that's something that you can do as a mix-up. Um, that's something I used to do a lot with DK in uh, in Brawl. Actually, I used to like catch snakes' grenades and know when they were gonna blow up, and just run up and have them blow up in somebody's face. So you can make you can make run up shield an aggressive approach if you know exactly when the bomb's gonna explode. Nice. Oh, that would have ended me. Oh.
Ooh, good. Oh no, I meant to air dodge and I ended up teching in, like, in place. Oh wow, you had time? Oh, it smacked the bomb oh, out of God. your hand. <laughs> Dude, that sucks. Oh, I guess oh, that, that low. Yeah, you. Me. Wow. I've never seen I've that. I've never seen that one. What? <laughs> but I guess, yeah, at those percents, uh, when you get forward thrown, try to DI to a platform. Because you saw how you bounced on it. Yeah, that was definitely. You could have actually escaped the bouncing fish for that reason. See how I'm down tilting on your shield? That's totally unsafe. Yeah, I think you punished me with uppy for doing that. So you can definitely up up up, up you out of shield if uh, you, you catch a sheep down tilting. Good luck. <laughs> I thought it was gonna happen like way earlier. Yeah, the only safe pressure she has on shield is like jab and like maybe spaced forward tilt versus link. Down tilt is as good as it is as like a poke. Um, if it doesn't shield poke you, it's it's definitely punishable. Ouch. You're living though. <laughs> you might still be living. Like bomb. Yes. Um, <laughs> <laughs> wow. So I mean, if if the Sheik has really good awareness of when the bomb's gonna explode, then I guess that's bad. Again, I'm very experienced versus Link, so I'm always aware of the bomb. So generally, you probably would have been safe versus most Sheiks there. But if they're that relentless following you off stage, then yeah, you just gotta be ready to attack and that's it. Okay. Alright, I suppose we'll play one more, but these have been really fun. And, uh, I feel like it's good good exposure to the matchup for you. Again, I know you've probably played versus a lot of Sheik, but I, I do claim to have a bit more experience versus Link than, than others. So I'm just gonna try to... Try to poke at you in areas where you're vulnerable and use Sheik's annoying fast moves to catch you while blocking all your projectiles if I can. But you've, you've been hitting me with them, with them a decent amount, so. Because yeah, out of all the Sheiks I played, I think you're the one that's like picked on Link's weaknesses off stage the most, so. And that'll stray from that'll stray lot. from me being like a uh, mid tier character main during brawl, and then having a recovery like DK's, uh, knowing that you have to take advantage of that when when that's when that weakness is like presented. Oh, so close. Oh no, I held down too long. That's okay, this happened last game. <laughs> Early SDs. Bomb? Bomb. Nice. Ah, uh, had to throw the bomb at you. Oh, nice. Wow, glide toss bomb into up tilt. I like that. I 
didn't have a jump the entire yeah. time. You <laughs> <laughs> didn't do anything. <laughs> uh, the difference there is that I guess you just have to try to combo DI once she gets you off stage. You might have to purposely DI away sometimes. And that, because if you stay near her, she's just gonna get all of that. If you don't have a jump. Oh, I was hoping. Oh, almost. If you ever catch me in a situation like that, keep in mind that you can definitely probably be opportunistic and stage spike me there. Because when she grabs from underneath, um, she doesn't get invincibility like when she snaps from above. So, wow! I tried to bouncing fish there. Ah. I think I'm still dead. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that was uh That was crazy. Um but yeah, that that whole like pseudo little string I got on you in the middle was literally because you didn't have a jump. So I guess if you you must have tried to jump during something. I don't know if I caught yeah. you after your jump was gone. If I did, then in that case you're kind of screwed. Um but it, if you ever if you ever catch a sheik doing like multiple jabs to try to set you up chances are they're gonna try to grab you after jab jab or, or tilt so if you ever take anything multi-hit from sheik try to be like on point with like sdi i don't know what it would really do for you what you might be able to do is sdi a little bit into her and up and maybe footstool off that probably would have been like a way to escape that string but it all it takes such awareness and it's ridiculous so but keep that in mind that if you are getting hit um, by like staggered jabs or like even just regular, uh, if they're mashing jab on you and doing the rapid hitting one, you can definitely SDI that and footstool or jump out. Even if you don't have a jump, you can get a footstool. Um, but yeah, dude, uh, I honestly, I think you adapted really well to that matchup. That's why I, I, I wanted to, to play a bunch more games with you to see what we, uh, what we would come up with. But it generally just comes down to... Um, Always be aware of Sheik's presence when you're recovering. Try to have that double jump, try to have that bomb. And yeah, if you can get back more than 50% of the time versus a Sheik that's actively going out there versus you, chances are you're gonna get good trades in your favor and you're gonna uh, end up catching her. Um, moves that we saw that work really well, uh, up smashes uh, outrange Sheik entirely. So, uh, when she doesn't have a jump, doesn't have a jump or bouncing fish definitely snipe the landing um, the other thing that comes uh, as the as the matchup becomes more familiar to you is that if you read on if you read their bouncing fish habits you can bait them out uh, especially if you're on on stage if you're grounded bait them out walk away F smash it's probably gonna be the most satisfying way to, to punish uh, and it'll probably kill her no matter what percent she's at so that's always good but that really just come that's like more of a hard read thing like once you uh, if you see that they're really because I swear if you if you stand in a certain range and like just stand there most sheiks when they're recovering they, they want to jump bouncing fish you just as like out of aggression so if you see that you can either you can either block it and then she'll bounce off you can spot dodge it in which case if you time it right um, she'll hit the ground and then you can like charge any one of your smashes or you can just walk away and then just let her you know hit the ground early and then punish but yeah dude thanks for coming through I hope you enjoyed the session I I'm glad we had such a great yeah. connection it was very pleasurable to actually play Sheik versus <laughs> you on that connection that was awesome yeah I was like extremely smooth yeah I was sick mm -hmm. um but yeah, keep in touch with me on Discord, and I'll update those notes for you and send them over to you when I get a chance. I'm going to be pretty busy for the next couple of days, so it probably won't be... If, it, if it's not right away, it'll probably be... Um, well, maybe I'll try to get it done at work today. But it not, if not, it'll be when I get back from Texas. But definitely keep in touch, man. Keep up the link. And, and yeah, good stuff today.
Yeah, thanks for the lesson. You got everything. it, man. Yeah, thanks for coming through. Uh, are you going to CEO? I see it's uh, I see it's in your tag. Yeah. Sweet, I'll be there. Yeah. So maybe we can play some offline games also. All right, I'll definitely look for you when I'm there. Sounds good, man. All right, peace out, Isaac. Thanks for coming through. All right, later. Later, man.